Hello and welcome to the internet. Ooh, a Traxa Grand Unifier, huh? First pick in the tracks I hear. That seems good. We also have Grim Monolith, Sheldock Isle, him to Torok, and a Tolarian Academy. Those are the things that strike me as beautiful things. However, none of them are in a Traxa. A Traxa is green, so you can natural order for her. She's a creature, so you can tooth and nail for her. She is also a legendary creature, so you can Gorgo's Vengeance for her. You can Shallow Grave. You can Necromancy. <sighs> uh, this is also a card I have not played yet in the Vintage Cube, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. So let's do that. And then we wait. So I guess we could reanimate or we can go with green, depending on... You could ephemerate her too, but that does not get her into play, unfortunately. You could also sneak attack her. Which is probably what we're going to do. Because that's right here. How like a black-red sneak attack reanimate deck. What do you think about that? Do, do. Oh, recurring nightmare is interesting. Hmm. You know, I never take recurring nightmare because I think it's hard to do. But... Maybe you take it now. And then we build around that biscuit. And th the problem is, attracts is every color but red, so now we're five colors. Oh, Mind Twist, fourth pick? You know what? Okay. You pulled my arm. You twisted my leg. A Badlands? You don't say. That's pretty good, right? What does this guy do with the beginning of your end step if you control no creatures with Decayed? This guy's just very much worse than Ophiomancer, right? I mean, I guess he's two mana. Is Ophiomancer gone? I don't know. But we're taking Badlands. If we're not playing blue, Ponder is not the pick. So I disagree with you. I mean, I'm not going to go into three colors, and I already had Recurring Nightmare, which I, I, I plan to play around. Uh, Rotting Regisaur is interesting as a discard outlet. Jadar does feed Nightmare. That's actually an interesting, uh, an interesting point there. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into this assuming we're going to be three colors, because I'd rather just not be. So, I think we can be a much more streamlined two-color deck, especially with Duretti, which is kind of sweet. Um, yeah, we're just going to take Duretti. Burgie doesn't really do it right. I guess we can... It is a discard outlet on five. You don't get the cards into your hand, though, that you draw, so you can't sneak attack them. Oh, if it isn't McGimp, who couldn't make it to my wedding. Uh, I think it's Hero's Downfall, probably. It's just good. Oh, him to Torok came back. So now we get him to Torok and Mind Twist. Yeah, okay. You pulled my leg. This is also a discard outlet that kills something, so that's just fine. Uh, Chrome Mox, sure. We'll take a Chrome Mox just in case. Uh, Timeless Lotus actually casts a Traxa pretty easily. Oh, the Jar came back? Wow. How lucky. How lucky. Uh, it was not streamed. It was considered, though. We were definitely like, should we just stream it? And we did not. And Helm of Awakening. This is actually a very solid pack. Jadar being Recurring Nightmare Fodder actually gives him a lot more value in my book. Although I don't, my, I think the reason I don't see it that way is because I don't love Recurring Nightmare. 
Scalding Tarn is pretty decent. Let's play Displacer Kitten and just keep blinking our Atraxa. Fiery Confluence is always insane. I think it's got to be Tarn here. It's a dual land into a tri land. And if Liliana or Fiery Confluence comes back, I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, Xander's Lounge is very good and probably the only thing we really care about in this pack. Actually, Fable's really good. Oh my god, baby, I didn't even see you. I'm sorry. Oh, what up, wife? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I think Fable's probably better. Wait, just, just better than the Xandar's Lounge here. Oh, Gristlebrand? Sure, I'll take a Gristlebrand. Big Gristles. Check it and see. Getting branded. Michael B. It's not great. We'll, we'll workshop it. Okay, Liliana Last Hope is good. Coligon's Command is good. Dark Ritual's good. A Braid is good. Today is our one week anniversary, it's true. Exciting. Is it Ritual for sure? I don't know if it's Ritual for sure. Actually, it's probably Ritual for sure. I agree. I mean, we have Mind Twist. We have Gristlebrand. Timeless Lotus, like, yeah, I, I can get behind that. Um, I feel like it's Ashen Rider here with the hope that Phyrexian Tower tables. Yeah, I, I do think it's Ashen Rider. And this can be our, our gentleman here. Oh, Reanimate? Sure. Okay. Great. Thanks. And then you have a pack like this, and it's like, oh, it's just poops. I'll just take Nickel Bolas. Through the breach. We breaching. This is what's known as getting it all. Where's like one Eldrazi? <laughs> trophy, trophy husband. Yeah, I have to be right now while I'm still looking for a job. So. Uh, Ravenous Chupacabra does the thing. These guys can all be in the same pile. Oh, Shriek Maw? And the Xandar's Lounge came back? Oh, boy. I think we gotta go with Xandar's Lounge here. It's just too good. It's a it's a dual land, and we do we definitely want to have double black into red on turn two three. Juan Eldrazi was a dear friend. We're just looking for Juan Eldrazi. Have you seen him? It takes Juan Eldrazi to know Juan Eldrazi. Eh, nothing exciting here. Time time of need could be neat here with these. Two. Coligon's command tabled, so did Liliana. Absolutely incredible. Oh, wow. Phyrexian Tower, but also Sulphurous Springs. Spazlaz, what do you think here? What's the pick? I'm going to go with the Sulphurous Springs. Yeah, I, I think that's correct. Cool, they gave me this even though I clicked on the other one multiple times. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we have Ashen Rider for a Death Trigger. Huh. Well, ain't that a son of a bitch? <laughs> Jesus, God. Thank you. Well, uh, Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Katie, what do we take here? Do we take the Mox Ruby or the Time Walk? I do feel like it's got to be Ruby, man. I really hope this Bitter Blossom comes back too, especially with Recurring Nightmare. Yep, we're taking the Ruby. 
oh, it's so painful, but ultimately necessary. I'll take a Ragavan here. Hmm. I do like Inquisition, but Ragavan's just Ragavan. Oh, Polluted Delta? Good lord. Now I'm kind of wishing I took that time walk. Now we have Tarn and Delta and Xander's Lounge. Yeah, let's go with Delta. Voidwalker's nice. Voidwalker is actually probably going to come black, come back. No one wants a, a double black card, apparently. Fury is actually pretty banging. Marsh Flats is also good. It gets us Badlands or Xander's Lounge, but I think we're probably good. I think I just like having Fury. Actually, Lightning Bolt's good too. It's just Lightning Bolt. Fury's Fury though. We could also sneak Fury in, deal the four. Oh, Thoughtseize though. And Zeotaurus Proving Ground. <sighs> I'm going to take the Thoughtseize. Ophiomancer? Hmm. Well, shoot. Ophiomancer with Recurring Nightmare is just great. Wow. <laughs> I'm really sad that I laughed at that. <laughs> oh, God. None of these seem great. I wonder if Braids is sustainable here. We can just keep sacking Ophiomancer or Jadar tokens. I'm going to take it because maybe. The odds are low, but... I could take Cabal Ritual here. Yeah, this pack's pretty meh. Oh, the Bitter Blossom came back. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. This is a nice Nahiri. We also have Showdown of the Scalds if we ever get a white source that we can cast these with. Sure, I'll take Ritual. We're just taking all the Rituals. So what aren't we playing here? These are all good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Can probably cut Hero's Downfall. And maybe Braids. Those are my two ifs right now. And this is 23, I guess. And we get a Mox Ruby. We also have a Gruul Signet that we could easily play for a turn three sneak attack. Or turn two sneak attack if we go turn one Signet off of Mox. Actually, Braids is significantly better now that we have Braids. Uh, we have Bitter Blossom, Jadar, and Ophiomancer. I like Timeless Lotus because it lets us just cast these. Like, if you can go turn four Timeless Lotus off of, like, Dark Ritual or Mox or something, um, you can literally just cast these or do a big-ass Mind Twist. Oh, another ritual. All right, so this is... We can add the braids. I th actually think it's pretty good here. What are our discard outlets? Registor, Bone Shards. We can Thought Seize ourselves. We can Culligan's Command ourselves. Duretti. That's actually a good amount. We also have Through the Breach and Sneak Attack. I wish we had one more big fat idiot. Okay, so we're going to lounge this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't think we're playing Chrome Mox. I almost I almost don't care about Ragavan, to be honest. I guess he makes treasures. The treasures are pretty relevant, actually, so. I 
And I would like to try braids here. I think I think this is the best shot we're going to get at trying braids. God, one cut. I mean, it might just be rotting Regisaur. Like, I don't want to have to discard every turn. Yeah, let's cut the Regisaur. Uh, we do not need this. So what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight, twelve. So we have double black here, all these on one. Neon Tokyo, delete your account. <sighs> I think we go to nine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine, eleven? That's probably correct. Oh, we get one more? I guess we can get that extra swamp after all. Perfect. 9-11 was not correct. Well, Bush did 9-11. Because jet fuel can't melt steel beams, you know? And now we wait, I guess. For right now. All right, our deck seems sweet, so fingers crossed. What do I want for dinner? That's a good question. I don't think I want Mexican. We just kind of had Mexican. What about barbecue? I just had pizza last night, so pizza and Italian are kind of out for me. Barbecue sounds great. I don't eat red meat or pork, so probably not brisket or ribs. That being the case, before everyone's like, hey, why would you get barbecue then? I love chicken and turkey, and I love the sides at barbecue restaurants. Barbecue restaurants are often surprisingly vegetarian friendly because they have infinite amazing sides. So... Did you just say you need some barbecue? Oh wow, Christian out of the out of the aether. Oh wow, look at this guy. Hey, look at this guy. Oh. Uh turn one thoughtsies turns off their library. <laughs> what do you got here? What is this what is this nonsense? I think they kept it thinking that they were just gonna keep drawing into good stuff, but really. I don't want that. We're just going to get rid of the kitten, I guess. I don't know. I don't care about Ephemerate, and you can't cast any of these other things. So, you know. Maybe we should go to that place that Michael threw away his margarita at. That place was really good. It's called Serious Texas Barbecue. Okay, so get rid of that guy. Yeah, I would definitely do that again. Their barbecue sauce is great. <gasps> oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Oh, that was exciting. Now I can play Fable on turn Dose. Discard, I guess we're not discarding that because we got through the breach, but. So at the, they have these frozen margaritas that you can get refilled, right? So I got um, a frozen lemonade, which wasn't a margarita, it was just.
I honestly don't care as much that you took that card specifically as that I didn't have seven cards. Oh, buddy, I knew. So they, like, I had a frozen lemonade. Michael had a frozen margarita, right? So I got a refill because they were free, and Michael got a refill. And so Michael didn't realize that he couldn't take it in the car because it's an alcoholic beverage, and it's opened, obviously, because it's sipped in a cup. So he gets a refill. He takes, like, two sips, and then he throws it in the trash because he's like, oh, I didn't realize I couldn't get it in a vehicle with an open alcohol container. So that was good times. Oh, wow. The mirror match. Oh, the Xander's Lounge. Uh, yes. Let's definitely use this. So I'm definitely going to pitch... Well, actually, we want to land this turn, right? Whenever this attacks, you make the treasure, huh? So we'll get rid of this guy. And probably just that. We definitely want a, an untapped land. Ah, I should have got rid of both. So what did they play? They didn't play Academy. So we know, like, they got rid of Flooded Strand? Sure. Hmm. I'm tempted to just through the Breach, bring an Ashen Rider, and then, like, kill two lands. Or kill this guy in, in a land, I guess. I want to save Kolagon's Command because they have artifacts in hand. I don't think the five damage really matters. Okay, we just won that game. All right. Just put a napkin on top of the glass. Closed container. This is good. This is good thinking. I was driving and I just said, it's illegal to bring it out of the car. So he throws it out. And then I was like, well, you can bring it home and drink it there with a lid. <laughs> well, how could he? He couldn't. He, he, he actually, I mean, how could he do that, though? I guess we could have put a lid on it and then put it in the trunk. That actually would have probably worked. Um, they have a lot of artifacts. I don't think we have anything that really deals with that better than our main deck, right? I just thought it was funny because he's like, hey, let me get a refill. Throw it in the garbage. And it's like, God, that poor lady just refilled your drink for nothing. Fascinating. We could play turn one Bitter Blossom, but I don't think that's better than turn two Bitter Blossom by that much of a margin. Hmm. Well, Helm of Awakening. Wow, things are happening. This is all very exciting. Let's draw that through the breach. That's not it. That's not it. We could just go Bitter Blossom. We could actually just play Fable and the Mirror Breaker here. We could also go Ritual, Fable, Bitter Blossom. So this is three, and then we'd have four mana. This is one, two, three. So we'd be one mana shy. Or one mana, we'd have one mana remaining, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely playing turn two Fable. But probably also... This is interesting. I'm fascinated by what what to do here. Does Dark Ritual matter that much? Hmm. 
Not really. All right, well. I want to get Bitter Blossom down because we get a guy next turn, which means we can bone charge something if they play it. I mean, we have plenty of things to... Yeah, like, now I can bone charge this with a token, and I'd rather just get rid of this than have them draw a bunch of shit. And I don't really want to use this guy to do it. So... Yes. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Scrappy. Scrappy Cervante. I mean, we could also kill this guy and then just attack Karn. And then we'd still have enough for Duretti, which is kind of good. So let's maybe do that. Uh, mm, I think we want to. I think we just want to sack a creature here. I don't think we want to lose more cards. I guess ugh, God, getting rid of this is just. We can't get through with this guy, and we want the token. So I think I'm actually just going to get rid of this guy. Kerwit's Stip is uh, draft cards that Kerwit would, would would pick. Pick cards that Kerwit would pick. And it sounds probably as difficult as you think. <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea what Kerwit would pick. One, two, three. Scrappy McBrappy. Discard up to two cards. One, two. <laughs> well, those are good. Those are good boys. Wow. That's, uh... That's, uh... Pretty, pretty... You can have pretty, island. Pretty, pretty good. Well, that's a hand, all right. So this is not cost one less, so we can actually do it for, th for two? Oh, why would you do that? <sighs> we know like that. That was that's less fun. Chain lightning, sure. Fine. Oh, all right. Well, that's exciting. Well, at least we have some easy cards to pitch here. So we can get rid of this and this. Fascinating. How can we play this? It's four mana, huh? I guess we can cast this guy. That costs one less, right? So we get it for free. One, so this costs four, one, two, three, four. Well, I guess we're just casting this guy. <laughs> well, there goes, there's an Emrakul. That'll do, pig. Um, one, two. Yeah, we'll just do four to that guy. Wow, and we have Reflection to copy Fury. Yeah, that's pretty good. Attack you for 12. Kill anything you put on the board. Yeah, the symmetrical effect of Helm of Awakening seems very good for us. It's the same reason I don't like, like, Heartbeat of Spring, really. And you kind of got to win the turn you play it so that your opponent can't benefit from its effects. Rob and I were talking about it. It's definitely one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. What restaurant? Oh, Himalayan Bistro. Yeah, Himalayan Bistro is amazing.
Golos. Well, let's discard this guy and this guy. We're really looking. Oh, that's that'll do, I guess. Uh, one, two, cast, uh, destroy an artifact and discard a card, right? No, not, yeah, destroy an artifact and discard a card, but we're going to make this card. Wait, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's discard, it's, it's destroy an artifact and deal two damage. And that's the artifact. That's the two damage. And then we're going to four it. And then we're just going to attack for 12. Like you do. And I guess we're done here. She lives for it. God. They always do. What is this? What are you doing here? That's pretty good. Is this a negative five situation? That's good if it is. It sure is a negative five situation. Well... See you later. <laughs> well, I guess we're getting rid of this guy. Uh, cast with discard a card. The fact that you can use this with discard a card is just so good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're going to discard Mountain because then we get to actually... Um, cast Gristlebrand if we draw it with Dark Ritual. We could not do that with Mountain. Oh, with Phyrexian Tower? Yeah, that's true. I didn't even consider it. Oh dear, did you just draw something else really good? This is a lot of mana you're using. What the fuck? Sure. Really? Over Xander's Lounge? What? Strange. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of good draws here, but... Yak and Yeti in Denver is very, very good. I mean, Sneak Attack is good, Through the Breach is good, Reanimate is good. I guess Reanimate only gets Jadar. Hmm. So Through the Breach, Sneak Attack, Gristlebrand. Sure. Interesting. That's good. So... One, two, three. I guess we're ritualing this, right? Because we don't know what we're going to hit, and I'd like to keep mana up, so. They got a counter spell? Oh. Fascinating. Give me those cards. Give me those cards. Let's get Ashen Rider. Reanimate. Hello. Uh, Timeless Lotus. Mountain. What else can I get? I got a creature. This is an. This is a sorcery. This is a creature. 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 I guess that's it, right? Done. Sure. Um. Play a mountain. 
put in an Ashen Rider. Get rid of your... Doesn't matter? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Get rid of that guy. Get, rid, get in there. Oh, he says good games. Oh, goodest games. Katie's like right behind me, but you can't see. There he is. There's my little gentleman. I was waiting until you were done winning. I appreciate that. There's a lot of things going on. But Wally doesn't want to stand on your shoulder like a parrot. Well, that's so. that's too bad. That's this deck is kind of fun. Bad. That is too bad. Ugh. How you feeling? Ugh. Ugh. Give me a hug. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were hugging. Hi, stream. Such a romantic <laughs> God, I'm so aggressive. Well, once I came upstairs and I was like, where's Wally? He usually, he usually comes too. Okay, so I need a black source. Do you think right. I'll get it? Will, what? 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 <laughs> will it into existence? That's a good idea. That's all you can do. Will it, will it black source? It doesn't work for you. I'm also on the play. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. This hand seems pretty rough. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it seems bad. This seems good. I agree. Look at this guy. You know this guy? Grizzle Brizzle? I know of him. I I've heard of him. Let's He's ship. famous in these parts. I think it's Chupa Loops. No, it's got to be Grizzly brand, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't have anything to like put that guy into play. Also, we can go him to Torak and Mind Twist. That seems good, right? Sure do. Did they go to? Oh, they went to six too. So that's good. Frank Lepore. Turn one. Frank Lepore. <laughs> Frank Lepore. Jesus. You like how only my first name is like blue uh -huh. and then they, it's like, <laughs> what, why? It's all one username. It smells nice. I put on a little cologne today. Did you like that? Yeah. I was like, it was out on the counter. So I was like, might as well. Maybe it'll just be a thing I do. Maybe I'm just a cologne guy now, even though I've always owned the cologne, you know? Black, black. Black, black. We do need one more mana to really... Oh, they got the, we got the animate dead. That's good. You're nope. for sure a married guy now, now that you wear that cologne. Fascinating. I didn't know. I'm good at noticing this sort of thing, but I thought you should know that she fancies you. I don't think so. Oh, look, we hit another land, a little land arena. God, I'm so good at standing here and making you draw land. Yeah, I'm really proud of you. I guess we'll just mind twist you. Bye bye. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Jesus, God. Uh, I was kind of afraid because that guy becomes like a four. Oh, we just win the match. <laughs> Maybe Man, I should stand here more often. We're going to go to dinner before sooner than I thought. I got to go right my... Can you go check and see if my clothes are done and switch them so that they we can get out? I heard it. I think I could still hear it now. Crazy. Yeah. Well. Beluga like the whale? Yeah, like the whale. Belugas are like a grayish blue yeezer. He he most definitely is living his midlife crisis. And I am supporting him in that. Oh my god, she's li also having a midlife crisis if that's the case. Because, oh, these are also, oh, I like these belugas. These Ooh. are not the same. Oh, of course you don't like them. I don't them. like those. With the orange stripe on the side. These yeah, are... those look like you're in the army. What? Ick. It's <laughs> like that weird, like... Desert it's, storm. It's like digital camouflage. Yeah, and okay. then there's like the orange part that's like, I'm a hunter. You gotta watch out for me. I also like that they named it Solar Red, but none of these colors are red. No, those aren't. Those are well, red. I guess there's little flecks of... I, I, I hate that. Okay. Let's well. close it. Close that tab. We don't need it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Jesus, God. She's a big fan. Yeah, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much sticking with like Jordan ones now. That's my that's my go to shoe. I think we're a Jordan family. Oh, there's a Ragavan, but there's no red sources. There's a lot of red cards. Oh, that's a. That's mildly better. 
but still not good. Okay. You don't got to be a hater. Best of luck. I'm going to go write reports. Okay. Best of luck. Best of luck. Best of luck, I. Eh? No, not yet. He was being very aggressive today. He was climbing all over the glass like a lunatic. Oh, an Ophiomancer. Big fan. Best of luck. Appreciate it, Matthew. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh. Also, I think Zelly is one of the only per people that have ever actually sent me shoes. And I still have them and, and love them to this day. Oh, yeah. Give me them snakes. Also, um, at the time, I thought I was a 10 and a half. And Matt sent me larger shoes. Um, I think they were a little 11 or 11.5. And then I realized, wow, these fit better. So then that was, that was helpful. He, he saved my life that day. Oh, wow. She <laughs> Baby, you still down here? Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Is it ravenous choops to get rid of this guy? He is the shoe whisperer. He was like, you know what? I'm going to send him these larger sizes. I don't... We have the size he wants. But if I send this, he'll know that it's the right size. <laughs> We also just Coligon's command and kill both of these things. Maybe we do that. I'm just going to get in there with my snake and see what happens. Oh, see, this is what I thought they'd do. So now I just get to have them discard a card or something if I wanted a K command. Undo. Discard. They're like, discard Gristlebrand. Thanks, stupid. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but... Hey, sorry for the early concession. Didn't see any way my terrible deck could beat someone who knows what they're doing with a good deck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> good games, Paravel. That's hilarious. Really appreciate you coming in here and saying that, though. That's pretty funny. I was like, wow, I guess I just win the match. Yeah, sometimes you just kind of know. You're like, look, I've gotten lucky with where I am with this deck, so. They discarded an Ember Cleave. That's fascinating. Don't like that in the red-blue deck. Not a fan. And I'm not a fan when I have a Duretti in my hand. Narsetto, Narsetto. What do they got? Four cards in hand? That's a lot. Okay. Well, we have a lot of mana. We can cast an Atraxa and a Gristlebrand. Atraxa's nice because it just puts the cards in your hand. You don't have to draw them. I'm like a 12 in sneakers, but barely a 10.5 in work boots. Not sure how that works, but someone... Yep, that's what we thought they were going to do. Super cool. They had exactly what they needed. <sighs> Unfortunate. They're like, all right, Narset's done her job. Chain lightning. Cute. Well, might as well make them, uh, yep, that's what we thought you'd do. <laughs> you have four lands and a goblin guide. Fascinating. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, so chain lightning is gone. This is your hand and one other card. Yep, definitely cracking that immediately. Yep. Like you do.
Dak Faden. How nice. <sighs> that is frustrating. Now we're going to top deck a through the breach and it's going to just be miserable. What do they play? Land? They played Mountain and Goblin Guide. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Cast. Sacrifice. Thank creature. you. Seems good. No quotes were found with Smash. It's, no, it's not there anymore. I know, Drunk, really appreciate the resub. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Try to smash when your hands are all broken. Isn't that what it was? I don't remember. Oh, wow, Lightning Bolt. Seems good. So they played Fiery Islet. So we know they have two islands and two random cards. Reanimate. Sneak attack. I don't think they're going to have a way to deal with this, so I'd rather just get it down now while they have the least chance to hit a counter spell. Now, we, now any of those big fat idiots that we... I was happy they wrote a smokestack in Tango Wire. Haven't seen those. Any, yeah, I agree with you. Oh, no. Sure. <laughs> All right, they're, they're crossing their fingers or they have it. See how you smash when your hands fall off is correct. Huh. That was an interesting choice. Oof. That's very good, but I don't have any cards, so joke's on you, I guess. Come on. Gristle, bri gristle bristle. Atraxa. I'll even take an Ashen Rider to just kill a bunch of your stuff. I have to assume one of those is gone. That's not... Well, we're just going to play it because, you know, they're going to make us discard it, so. Ho! Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, I guess one of those we can trample. Yep, that's pretty good. Something good. <laughs> okay, okay. Next card. Fable. Into. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I do like Hero's Downfall here because we can kill a Narset in response to like a Time Twister. We can kill a thing in response to a other thing. I'll just take Timeless Lotus out. Seems fine. I like what I've seen from Four Mana Braids. Oh, I thought you meant in this deck, because we were trying to test her out and be like, let's see if this works, because we have Bitter Blossom, Jadar, and Ophiomancer, so a ton of ways to just make a bunch of cheap creatures. And, like, our goal was to be like, yeah, let's see how Braids works. And you're like, ah, oh, I like the way Braids has worked out. And I'm like, right, we haven't even cast it yet. So I just felt like you were trolling, but I think, you, I, I assume you're just talking about in other decks. And I think it's a card you definitely have to, like, really build around. They do have Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning, so let's see if this guy lasts the turn. Unlikely. Yep, zero chance. Fucking knew it. <laughs> it never fails. That card's never connected when it's on my side of the board. I kind of want a Duretti here. What do we discard? Like, we just don't have anything left, right? We just have a swamp. Like, I just don't think there's a reason. I'd rather just draw a big card and then uh, Dark Ritual into Through the Breach. Yeah, Ophio did put in some big work and it didn't even, didn't even matter. 
Oh, see, that's good. That's probably better than Ophiomancer here. So next turn we can definitely through the breach if we hit something. We get three shots to hit something. Three little draws. If we can get one beautiful fat daddy in the top three cards... Here comes an Arset, which is really good. Okay, that's better than an Arset for us. An Arset when we have Chapter 2 of Fable is pretty good. Riftwing Cloud Skate suspended, okay. There's, there's your daddy. Yes, let's get rid of... Probably Duretti and Ophiomancer. See what we can hit there. <laughs> Recurring Nightmare seems good. Oh, wait, we're not casting it. Let's draw now, in case we hit anything that costs one. We did not. But we can play Jadar and the next turn play Recurring Nightmare to get Gristlebrand back, so that's, that's kind of wild. Oh, no, no blocks, huh? Let's play a Badlands and play this and this. Play Jadar. Wow, affinity with adding the quote. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus. Is there anything he can't do? We also have two creatures in our hand that we kind of want in the graveyard. How do we do that? How do we get him in there? The beginning of your end step. Okay. So it's just like a... It's almost like a poor man's Ophiomancer, right? Flip it. Three cards, huh? Do we just mind twist them? You got it. Narset Island are gone. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for us, I guess. that instantly yep all right the pressure's on bitter be bitter be it'll burn your throat we could just kill this guy oh and then we have a choops too oh that's pretty good let's do that Big Choopers, check it and see. Kill this guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, just getting Deceiver Exarch off the board feels pretty good. And we still get to play Bitter Blossom here, so. One, two, three. Okay, we just won that game. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Final match. Final game. Final game match. Venetius consult his ancient stream scrolls to uncover quotes of old. <laughs> yes, it is true. This hand seems rough. I'll keep it. Dude, Mox Ruby here or Dark Ritual? Chef's Kiss. So let's hit it right now. Okay. How about now? Oh, interesting. I know a drunk, he literally already added it. He added the quote. <laughs> it's already back. Okay. Mm, fascinating. You stepped away? How dare you? I've yet to see any counter spells from them, so. Here comes a lightning bolt. Yep, here we go. Something big. Hester might. Oh, they're just going to win on turn four. That would be amazing. Ready? Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. That was probably the best deck we could have drafted that uh, loses to Splinter Twin on turn three with no answers. Turn four? Whatever. I'll see you next time.